You can't send a video on WhatsApp without having it compressed to a worse resolution and if it's too long you'll even have to trim it. Which is ridiculous. I happen to have a solution for this problem so tag along. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So it's hard to send long videos on WhatsApp due to the file size limit and also because I can count on one hand how many video formats it supports. Sending videos on WhatsApp is favored, however, due to its end-to-end -end encrypted messaging system and also because a lot of people use WhatsApp. So the best solution in this case is compressing the videos to a smaller file size on your computer first and then sending it through the desktop WhatsApp application or transferring it to your phone and sending it from there. The compressor tool in the Uniconverter can compress files without losing quality and that's the tool we're going to check out in this video. The Uniconverter is an all-in-one multimedia toolbox aimed for creators for everyday use. So if you don't have it yet, grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. After it opens up, this main interface will welcome you. Click on the compressor tool and then import your file. Within the compression settings, keeping the compression rate within the green area here will ensure the best quality with the smallest file size, but you can also go as low as you want. Regarding the file format, I suggest that you set it to MP4 as that's the most widely supported file format. And then just hit the compress button. You can also perform batch compressing with the tool in case you have multiple files where you need to reduce the size. As you can see here, the resolution will not change by using the Uniconverter. It's sad that WhatsApp will compress it, but at least you can send a long video as well. But there is a trick that you can use to send videos up to 2 gigabytes on WhatsApp and I'm gonna share it with you. So other kind of files can be sent up to 2 gigabytes. So if you take a video and compress it into a zip file, you'll be able to send it in the original size and quality. Of course, this way the video can't be played within the application and the recipient needs to download it and unzip it first. But it is a working technique nonetheless that can come very much in handy from time to time. If you're liking the video so far, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content in the future. Okay, alternatively, you can use the online compressor on media.io, which essentially works the same way. But first, you need to upload the file, then wait for the servers to process the file and then download it. Or as a plan C, you can use other transfer sites to send files such as WeTransfer, Google Drive or MyAirBridge. However, through these methods, you can't enjoy WhatsApp's secure messaging system. I will talk about Google Drive nonetheless. So the great thing is that everybody that has a Google account with a Gmail email address, so literally pretty much everyone, has 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage that can be used to store and share files. So, alternatively, you can use Google Drive as well to share or transfer video files to your friends. It's very simple, just go to Google Drive, upload your file, then click on Share and copy the link and send it to your friends so they could watch it and download it. Or you can transfer ownership to them, which then they can accept and the files will be stored in their cloud storage and not in yours. How cool. So yeah, this is another way of sending large files. It's not through WhatsApp though, but it's working. You can send the link through WhatsApp, so it's kind of in between. Anyhow, now you have a few ways to send large files on WhatsApp. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more video making related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.